Um, you know what? Hey, there's always going to be issues in your life. Uh, you know, it's just how you take them. It. It's how you take them, and uh, you know, there's always problems. There's always distraction. It's just how you deal with it. And uh, you know, I have great way of dealing with stuff and uh, you know what it just drives you it drives you to pull stuff out and it gives you that heart to just get out there and get it so uh, you know what you know the last fight was a tough one I take nothing away from Martinez you know he came and fought a great fight um, you know give him a lot of credit he came and you know he worked hard and he, and he came and got it so um, but you know we move on from that and uh, it's time to take care of business Saturday night and uh, you know we're ready we're ready to go Dan, what would it mean to you to uh, now that the WBC title is Robert Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. No. Yeah, of course. Robert, what would it mean now that the WBC title is on the line to get another title? Um, you know, the main focus is beating Danny. That, that's what it was the whole time. And, uh, you know, whether it was for the title or not for the title, you know, we're, we had that drive to come in and win. So, uh, you know what? It's just, uh, you know, coming to win now, it's just that much sweeter having the title. And, and fighting at Staples Center? Oh, definitely. You know, Staples Center, it's, uh, you know, it's like a home away from home. You know, 10 years ago, I won my first world championship there against uh, Eric Aiken. And, uh, man, you know, it's just a great venue to be in. Apparently, you're talking about having, having your dad. I heard, I heard, I heard something about having the child ready. I don't know. For me? Yeah. Yeah, I told him, hey, we're ready. And I said, they better be ready. They better have the towel ready. What do you think about that? Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> and we come to fight. So we come to fight. And uh, that's what we do. Do you Robert, look for you, the knockout you, or does it just, is it more of it becomes a knockout? Um, you know, you're always, you're always looking to land that shot to knock somebody out. Um, but if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, you know, we're ready to give a punishment. Robert, you and Danny are very humble and, and soft-spoken, and then your dad and Angel, they're like uh, mirror images of themselves. And it stands both of you guys as teams. Do you see that? A lot of uh, resemblance to each other into this fight? Uh, yeah, you know. You know, we, we don't have to sell the fight. You know, our pops do it for us. <laughs> Um, but you know what? Everybody comes to watch us fight. And uh, at the end of the day, it's about me and Danny getting in there and taking care of business. And that's what I come to do. I come come in to take care of business. What about moving an angel pay per view? How does, how does that play out? What happens? He won't fight me, bro. Hey, he don't hey, got it. He don't hey, got it. He won't fight me, bro. Hey, he, he won't hey, get in there with me. I think that I'll do that. Uh, no, the, <laughs> what was it? Who will say it? Somebody will say it. Hey, M McGregor or whatever. Oh, he has a high, hey, high, high pay per view. <laughs> hey, what happened so, to Mayweather? He so, talked shit. He was going to get in the ring with me. He never did. He all he did is talk shit. He didn't get in the ring with me, man. I'll fight him with, I'll fight him with one hand. I'll fight him with one hand. Yeah, so, hey, but you know what? It's about it's about what's going to happen Saturday night, and uh, everything else is irrelevant. How do you get Danny to fight the fight that you want, like inside, rough, in the face? You come, what you do is you, you come and you execute your game plan. You take charge of the fight, you do what you got to do, and you're all right. Robert, how do you feel that Danny's dad said that he's just going to come forward and he's just going to knock you out with a hook? <laughs> Everybody says that. Thurman said he's going to knock me out. Uh, Mayweather said he's going to knock me out. You name it, they all say they're going to knock me out. Um, I you know Dean, what? I Dean said he's going to knock him out. Uh, he's going to break my I'm defeated. But you know what? Everybody's gonna talk and they're gonna say this and that, but it, it doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing if it doesn't if they can't do it. So uh, you know what? I'm coming to fight. I'm very prepared and I'm ready to go. Why couldn't so, any of them hurt you and Martinez did? What was different in that fight? Was it your focus, your preparation? What was it? Yeah, just lack of focus. Uh, you know, not being very prepared. Um, but like I said, I don't take nothing. I don't. I don't take. I don't take nothing away from Martinez because he came to fight. He worked hard. He trained his butt off, and hey, he came and got it. So uh, you know what? He's a semi-main event on the card and uh, hey, he's doing his thing. Well, Robert, do you feel you have to make it a kind of like, I won't say a dirty fight, but not a stylistic fight, more of a brawl to be able to impose your will on Danny? Um, it's coming in using experience and using, uh, you know, using all the smarts inside the ring. You know, put everything together, do what you got to do, make the adjustments and uh, you know what, don't let them get that momentum going and, and take charge. Robert, when you were in the lower weights against Vicente Escobedo and Michael Cassini's, you box more. Moving up in the higher weights, you would think you would even box more, but you actually brought, why, why the change of style? Why, when, when did that tradition happen? Well, coming from 122 pounds, people say you can't do it. Yeah. Uh, it kind of gets into your head and you get a little ticked off and go in there and say, you know what, hey, I started at 122 pounds, I'm here at 147 pounds, let's do this. Let's see who will walk who down. And, I tend to kind of like it a little bit too yeah. much and started, you know, falling into that and uh, you know what, 
I just ended up becoming a brawler. So, uh, you know, the last fight uh, with Martinez, uh, you know, really opened my eyes and really stepped back and, and went back to the drawing board. You know, people say they go back to the drawing board, but do they really go back to the drawing board? This time I really did go back to the drawing board and really assessed everything. And, uh, you know, we went back with a bunch of throwback stuff. Me and my father worked before and, uh, um, you know, it was time to put those pieces back together and get back to myself. You know, I don't know what drove Salido besides the juice when he got in with me. So, uh, you know, he he felt he had to juice all up to get in the ring with me. So uh, I don't even freaking acknowledge that guy. So, um, you know what? But hey, there's a lot of potential fights out there. But Saturday night's the main focus on getting the job done. Have what it takes to be Danny. Then what? People that say what you say to people that they think you don't have what it takes to be Danny. Tune in Saturday night, you find out. Robert, did you well, take a page out of Mauricio Herrera's fight when you fought him in Puerto Rico? Uh, you know, we looked at film and uh, we watched a lot of different stuff, and uh, you know, it, it's uh, put the game plan together, and uh, you know, it's about coming to fight my fight. Not coming to fight somebody else's fight. You know, Herrera's a right hander. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, you gotta watch Zap Judah, you gotta watch this and that. But, you know, it's coming to pose your will and, and get your game going. So, uh, you know, we worked up our game plan and, uh, you know, it's time to execute it and, uh, you know, Saturday night, make it happen. Well, how are you going to put uh, Danny through deep waters, take him to deep waters? What was that? How are you going to take Danny to deep waters and test him out in later rounds? Uh, we're going to get in there and go to work. We're going to get in there and go to work and, uh, you know, see if he makes the deep waters.